Healthcare companies are also trying to cut down on gun violence. There's a new campaign to get people talking. WCI 3's Amanda Brennan is live in our newsroom with more on what questions doctors hope you will be asking. Amanda. Yes, and Jennifer, discussing guns at the dinner table isn't something that normally happens, but health experts say it's a topic that needs to be aired out. Almost 200 facilities, including OSF, have just the way to get the conversation started. Gun safety is one of those things uh, that sometimes can be an awkward conversation to have. It's okay to ask your family and your friends, do you have a gun in the home? If you do have a gun, is it safely stored away? Is it locked? OSF doctor Kurt Bloomstrand says asking these questions can help bring down gun-related deaths and injuries. And give the parents the tools and the resources uh, they need to empower them to ask such what might be considered uh, taboo questions. OSF is one of nearly 200 healthcare organizations giving them those tools. It's part of the national gun safety movement called Doesn't Kill to Ask. And here's why it's so important. A New England Journal of Medicine study says it's the number one killer among kids ages 1 to 19. It could be from, you know, homicides, victims of gun violence. It could be from suicides. It can be from unintentional discharges of firearms in a house or somewhere else. Across the country, 13 children die from guns every day. From 2019 to 2020, there was a 30% increase in deaths among children and adults related to gun violence. With those numbers, Bloomstrand hopes people are listening and starting to talk. It does not kill to ask. It's okay to ask the tough questions about gun safety and promote that uh, environment of safety. In the past, before 2020, car crashes were the leading cause of death in children. He says there are many safety measures to make cars safer, and he wants to make sure there's something similar in place for gun violence, too. Reporting live in the newsroom, Amanda Brennan, WCI3, your local news leader. Amanda, thank you.